Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nandi. So in this video, I am gonna be showing you all how I get this hair and this makeup. And I am also gonna be going over my New Year's resolutions for 2022. So if you are interested, just keep on watching and please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to the family, then please make sure to subscribe as well. Let's get right into this video. make this too long so let's go ahead and get started first i'm gonna start with my hair so i'm gonna moisturize my edges really quick before i go in and put on like gel and everything i'm just using like shea moisture for my edges and then i'm also using grease y'all i love this blue magic grease so I just make sure I moisturize my edges because, you know, we're going to grow these babies back in 2022. We are. We are really going to do that. So this keeps it nice and moisturized. The grease definitely locks it in a lot. So. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I have on my list, I tried to come up with 10 and I remembered like one more that I wanted to say and then I forgot it again. So. <laughs> Um, okay, so the first one is to get out of my comfort zone. And I swear, I feel like I say this all the time. Like every time I have like a get ready with me video or whatever. And I'm just such a scaredy cat. Like, and I think I mentioned this before too. Like I'm such a scaredy cat and I don't even have anything to be scared of. So this year, I, well next year, I am absolutely going to go on a solo trip because I've always wanted to do that. I've mentioned that thousands of times, still have not gone. Um, next year, I'm definitely going on a solo trip. I am definitely just doing more, more things to like get out of my normal comfort zone because I tend to like do the same things or like I tend to stay just in my own little bubble and I don't really want to do that so yeah next year I'm definitely going to get out of my comfort zone and start doing things like that all right let's do these eyebrows y'all I still have not learned how so please keep your questions and your comments and your concerns to yourself because uh-uh I don't know what I'm doing with them. I mean, that doesn't look bad though to me. So anyway, next is, oh, don't fill my time with in the meantime. And this, well, it's don't fill my time with, yeah, in the meantime. And this actually came from a story that I was watching. And I realized that I absolutely do this so much so basically what that means is like you know how when you're like about to start something let's just use working out right so let's say you want to work out and you know start your diet and like the first of the year is usually when everyone starts getting really into like the gym thing and everything like want to go work out want to eat healthier and that's great but it's like for december though so they're like in the meantime you're going to do something that completely contradicts the goal that you're like trying to get to, like the end product. So like if it's to work out, then right now you're like just eating whatever you want or just, you know, not putting the most healthy foods in your body. But it's like, why? You know what I mean? Like why fill your time with things that don't align with what you want down the road just because you haven't started yet? So I think that's one of the things that I do. Like I feel my time with in the meantime things where it's like I could be doing things right now that align with my end goal instead of wasting my time just doing random shit <laughs> that is not going to add up to anything down the road. Um, I am setting my face with powder first, which is really not the usual step, but my forehead was really oily and my T-zone is always very oily. So to combat that, I'm just powdering first and then we're going to do foundation and everything. But yeah, so, you know, I don't want to fill my time with like 
things that don't add up when I could just be starting small. And I think that's where a lot of people get tripped up because even when I started my YouTube channel, it took me so long because I felt like I had to have everything right now. And you don't. Like you can start with what you have and then tweak it along the way. And that's the same with any goal. Like you don't have to come out of the gate with a big ass production. Like no one is expecting that, you know? And so it's like with anything that you're trying to work on, don't like just start. Just literally just start. And it sounds so cliche, but what is the point of like if you're so for example, going back to like the whole losing weight thing, like what's the point? of waiting until January to, to get in the gym when you could literally just change the way that you eat right now or just try to incorporate more vegetables into your diet right now or just try to go for a walk two days a week right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not do things right now that would make it easier to get to where you want it to go in the long run, you know? I hope that makes sense because that was a whole list of you. <laughs> so yeah, that's one of the things I'm going to stop doing. I'm going to start on my hair. I have this vision of what I want my hair to look like. Um, but I don't know if I can execute that. So I basically want like a bun, but I want like a bang. Does that make sense? So I'm going to try to... Do a bun with a bang, and the bang has to come from the bun. So basically, it needs to stop like right here, like that. That's basically what I want. So, yeah, I'm just gonna tie it right here. Oh, that was easy. I just love these damn faux locks so much because I can do like so many different styles. But y'all tell me if this is weird. So I have had like this bun is pretty tight, but it's not like crazy tight. You know what I'm saying? And okay, I like this. This is cute. So this bun is like tight, but it's not like crazy. But for some reason, like my hair and then I'm just going to take one from the back. You know what we do. You know how we do and wrap it around. So yeah, that's my, this is my hairstyle that I actually wanted. This is the vision that I had in my head. Do y'all like this? I think it's cute. But um, yeah, I, my hair, like when I tie it up like this, it literally still feels like really, um, I don't know, it just hurts after a while. Does that make sense? This, is this cute? Do we like this? I like this. I think it's different. I think it's different. We can rock it. We can we can make it work. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of my my hair. Let me do my edges real quick so I can tie them. What what do I do? My toothbrush. All right. So moving on. Um, the next thing is ramp up my social media usage. Um, I need to figure out how to market like my channel better. Um. And unfortunately for me, that means getting on all the other social media sites like TikTok. I have to sneeze. Oh my God, I have to sneeze. Oh, I kind of like a side bang better. Hold on, let me do the edges on this side. I'm not like doing nothing crazy to these edges. We're just swooping them back with the pony, with the, we're just swooping them back with the toothbrush. I'm not getting crazy with the, um, let's see what a side bang looks like. It's just all about how you like manipulate this basically. Okay, I like a side bang a little better, so mm, maybe. I think it should drop. I think it should drop a little more. No. This for some why is this not laying? Like I don't get it. Okay, that's better. Okay, I think I like a side bang a little better than the other one. And I want it to like, yeah, swoop like that. Do we like this? We do. I just have to keep it swooped. Okay, so yeah, this is how I'm gonna do, have my hair. I like it better this way. Um. So yeah, I need to, unfortunately for me, that means 
I had to be on every social media site, like TikTok, Reels, Instagram, Snapchat. What else? Is that it? I don't even feel like doing my makeup no more. The baby, this is done. We're done. All right, that's it, y'all. <laughs> that's it for the video. Um, yeah, so I have to be on every single social media site. That's going to be very, very tiring for you, girl, because that's a lot. Like, y'all, y'all don't understand. Like, even, like, filming, between filming and editing and then having to find a time to, like, I actually have a job. I got to work. And then I have to, you know, edit and, like, be all on TikTok and all on posting pictures. And it's just... It gets pretty crazy and wild out here. So, but I mean, if that's what needs to be done, then I guess that's just what's going to have to be done. So I'm going to figure out how to do it. Um, and then the next one is to, oh my God, stop being so hesitant to speak up. But there are still a lot of things that I don't say. Um, and not this year. Well, next year. Next year, I'm going to start speaking up a little bit more. Well, I guess more than I do. Not like rudely though. And that's, you know, that's kind of why I just kind of keep my mouth closed. Because sometimes you just don't got to say everything that you're thinking. So we going to hold off on that one. We're going to see about that one. Because <laughs> sometimes still nobody needs to hear what I got to say. So we'll see. That, we'll see. Um, the next resolution is to go harder in the gym. Which kind of, I kind of came to that conclusion after I did this 31 day challenge and I did it during the toughest month I feel like just because there's like Christmas um and like there's parties and everybody wants to be festive so you know I feel like I did it during a pretty tough month but that just showed me that one I have the willpower to do it so I should and two, like, I just want to, I just want to challenge myself. Like, I like working out. I love working out. And I just want to really, really challenge myself, like, more with it, you know? Because right now I do it for fun and I have a good time, but I could be doing a lot more with it in terms of, like, challenging myself and everything. So next year I'm going to challenge myself a lot more. I am going to try to be less reactive. That is, listen, that is a skill. Like for people, I wear all, like a lot of my emotions on my face and I hate that because I would love to just be a stone cold bitch. Like I would really love, not stone cold, but like I would really love to never show emotion. I really would. And I don't, I'm not that person. Like I am, you can see everything you need to see on my face all the time. And it's so annoying. Um, but I'm just going to try to be a little less reactive. Um, not necessarily not feeling my feelings, but you know, just, I guess that's just kind of like not responding to everything, like everything doesn't deserve a reaction everything doesn't deserve a response so kind of just letting things like roll off my shoulders a lot more I need to find more balance next year especially since I'm adding more stuff to my plate I need to find a work-life balance I you know um yeah, I just need to find more balance. <laughs> yeah, let's just, just not even get, we ain't gotta get into the specifics. Let's just know. I just need to find a little more work-life balance. <laughs> and then I need to be a little more strategic with my money. For example, like getting into investing and getting into um, doing, creating like a budget that I'm actually gonna stick to. And then nine, yeah, I don't remember what 10 is. So the, the ninth one, and honestly, nine resolutions is a lot <laughs> for real. But the ninth one is to give myself grace. And this is perfect because going along with like creating a balance, I don't ever want to beat myself up if I can't do that. Like I am only one person. 
What is this? Oh, I'm only one person and I can't be everywhere at one time. Like, and I know it seems like your girl can, but I really can't. When it comes to like having goals and shit that you want to get done and having things that you are like working towards, then you're going to have to sacrifice with that. Even like not... Even when it comes to like not reaching uh, my own dreams or like not being able to do everything that I want to do, like I have to learn to give myself grace with that too because I am, I mean, I can only do so much. <laughs> so I don't want to be like ever be hard on myself because I can't make some things happen. Um, yeah. All right, I'm done with my makeup, I think. Actually, it came out pretty well. It only took like 15 minutes, so I like it. All right, I do want to do some blush because it is a little cold outside. And actually, it's not, though. Can we talk about that? It's like 60 degrees and it's the middle of December. Can we discuss why that's a problem? <laughs> like, I just, we can save that for another time. Um, so yeah, that, those are all my resolutions. I didn't do my lippy. Hold on, I'm just gonna do a clear gloss. I was looking for my liner, y'all. I couldn't find it. So we're just gonna do a clear gloss as a lippy. And I have my earrings here. Okay, but yeah, those are all the resolutions that I have for next year. I am excited to go into 2022. That is literally even crazy that we're even talking about that. But I am excited. I am excited to see what is in store. I am excited to keep grinding. Um, so I will see you all. Wait, let's see. This video is going to come out. Yeah, this is actually going to be my last video of the year. So I will see y'all in the new year. Bye.